friend in this video we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of inductance using the hayes bridge so let's start with our problem <music> we are given a bridge which consists of the following four arms arm ab is a choke coil which is having a resistance r1 and inductance l1 arm bc is a known uh, is a non inductive resistance r3 arm cd is a mica condenser c4 in series with a non inductive resistance r4 arm da is a non inductive resistance r2 now when this bridge is fed from a source of frequency 500 hertz then balance is obtained under the following conditions that r2 r3 c4 r4 and the value of the series resistance of the capacitor is given to us and using these information we have to find out the resistance and inductance of the choke coil means we have to find out the value of r1 and l1 now let's first draw the circuit diagram for this bridge so that we can uh, get an idea we can derive the balance equation from it so as a bridge it consists of four arms ab bc cd and da arm ab is the choke coil having resistance r1 and inductance l1 so we will have a inductor and a resistor here r1 and l1 in arm ab then we are having a detector also between the arm bd to obtain the balance condition then we have arm bc bc is a non inductive resistance r3 so only r3 is resistance is drawn here this is arm bc then arm ad is a non inductive resistance r2 this is arm da and arm cd is a mica condenser c4 in series with a non inductive resistance r4 so c4 and r4 they are connected in series with each other this is r4 this is c4 and ad it is the in arm da we are having the resistance r2 in between a and c the voltage source is connected which is giving us the frequency of 500 hertz so this is the circuit diagram for this bridge given to us in the question now when we analyze this bridge we will see that this bridge is the hayes bridge which is used for the measurement of inductance by comparing it with a standard capacitor so we can directly use the balance equation or we can directly use the equations for the l1 and r1 for the hayes bridge for l1 we are having the value r2 r3 c4 upon 1 plus omega square c4 square r4 square and for r1 we are having the equation omega square c4 square R four, R two, R three upon one plus omega square C four square R four square. So we can directly use these values to obtain the value of the unknown inductance and the resistance of the choke coil. But if we don't remember these values, if we don't uh, if we are not able to analyze that this bridge is the Hayes bridge, we can. derive the balance equation or we can derive these values using the balance equation of the bridge now balance equation of an alternating current bridge says that z1 z4 is equals to z2 z3 that is the product of the impedances of the opposite pair of arms is equal okay now z1 is if we see the bridge z1 is the series combination of r1 and l1 so it will be r1 plus j omega l1 z2 is the resistance r2 
Z3 is the resistance R3 and Z4 is the series combination of R4 and the capacitor Xc. So Xc value is 1 upon J omega C. So R4 plus 1 upon J omega C4. Okay. So this is the value of the four impedances. We are going to put their value in this balance equation. So we can derive these two values L1 and R1. So Z1 is R1 plus J omega L1 multiplied with Z4 which is R4 plus 1 upon J omega C4 and R2, R3. Just multiply this. We can write it as R1 plus J omega L1 and we can write this 1 upon J as minus of J. one upon j can be written as minus of j so here we have replaced one by j by minus of j now if we multiply this we will get r1 r4 plus j omega l1 r4 minus of j r1 upon omega c4 and here we are having j and j so we will get j square so j square is equals to minus 1. So minus 1 will become plus 1 and omega and omega will be cancelled. So we will get L1 upon C4 is equals to R2, R3. Now in this equation we are having real terms also and imaginary terms also. So equating the real and the imaginary parts we will get R1, R4 plus L1 upon C4 is equals to R2, R3. So we will get L1 plus R1, R4, C4 equals to R2, R3, C4. Okay. So the value of L1 is coming out to be R2, R3, C4 minus of R1, R4 and C4. So this is the value of L1 we are getting. Okay. Now in this value we are having R1 also. So we have to first calculate R1. Now for R1 we are going to equate the imaginary terms. So it will be J omega L1 R4 minus J R1 upon omega C4 equals to 1 okay so it will be from when we are going to solve this equation we will get the r1 as omega square c4 square r4 r2 r3 upon 1 plus omega square c4 square r4 square we are going to equate it to 0 because on the right hand side we are not having any terms of the any imaginary terms. So if we uh, bring this to the right hand side it will become positive and j and j will be cancelled out. Let's solve it. j omega L1 R4 will be equal to j R1 upon omega C4. So j and j will be cancelled. Okay. So R1 will be equal to omega square l1 r4 c4 okay so we are going to put the value of this r1 in the term of l1 where we are getting c4 r2 r3 minus r1 r4 so here we will put the value of R1 which is in terms of L1. So we will get the expression for L1 and when we are getting the expression for L1 we are going to put it again in this equation and we will get R1. Okay. So here we will have L1 is equals to C4 R2 R3 minus this is omega square L1 R4 C4. So here we are already having R4 here so it will become R4 square. 
now again l1 is equals to c4 r2 r3 minus omega square l1 r4 square c4 square when we are going to bring it to the left hand side we will get l1 plus omega square l1 r4 square c4 square equals to c4 r2 r3 now here bring uh, taking the l1 as common so we are left with 1 plus omega square r4 square c4 square so the expression for l1 will become this term r2 r3 c4 divided by 1 plus omega square r4 square c4 square and then we are going to put this term l1 uh, the value of l1 in this expression and we will get r1 as this expression so we have got the value of r1 and l1 from the balance equation with there is no need to remember the such a complex value if we are not remembering it we can just use this balance equation then we have the value of the four impedances we are going to put the values there and at the same time in the question we are going to derive this value r1 and l1 now the value of all these variables are given to us so we can easily put their values in it and can get the value of r1 and l1 so for l1 we are having r2 r3 c4 upon 1 plus omega square r4 square c4 square r2 is 2410 ohm given to us in the question r2 is given as 2410 then we are having r3 which is given as 750 ohms then we are given the value of the capacitor C4 as 0 0.35 microfarad. So 0 0.35 microfarad. So multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 6. Then divide by 1 plus omega square. Now omega is what? 2 pi f. And f is given to us as 500 hertz. So here we are going to put the square of it. 2 pi into f is 500 into r4 which is 64.5 ohms given to us in the question r4 and then we are going to put the value of c4 which is 0 0.35 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 and square of this okay so when we solve this we will get the value of l1 as now just remember there that the series resistance of the capacitor is 0 0.5 4 ohms so here we are having the value of the resistor r4 is 64.5 the value of capacitor is 0 0.35 microfarad and this capacitor is also having a series resistance 0 0.4 ohms so here we are having a resistance also which is 0 0.4 ohms so here we have to add 64.5 plus 0 0.4 so we will get 64.9 ohms for this resistance R4. So where we have put the value 64.5 instead of that we are, have to put 64.9 because this series resistance is added in it which is 0 0.4 ohms. Now when we solve this we will get the value of L1 as 0 0.63 Henry. Now we have to calculate R1 which is omega square R2 R3 R4 C4 square upon 1 plus omega square R4 square C4 square. Now here in this equation if we put the value of R2 as 2410, R3 as 750, R4 is 64.9, C4 is 0 0.35 microfarad and then we solve it so we will get the value of r1 as 141.1 ohms 
so this is the inductance and this is the resistance of the choke coil which is connected in the arm ab okay now here uh, this cd arm because we have taken here the sum of this so you have to consider here the r4 value as 64.5 plus this 0 0.4 ohms just keep this thing in mind okay so in this way we can measure the value of an inductance by using the Hayes bridge okay and uh, we have uh, used we have just derived the balance equation here z1 z4 equals to z2 z3 and using this balance equation we have got the value of the l1 and r1 and then we have put the value of the known variables in that to calculate the l1 and r1 values so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you